uh, I, I wanted to ask first, I was uh, two related questions on this, but the first one is just whether there's any comment from the Secretariat on the release on bail of uh, David Eng Lap Sang on $50 million bail, the, the individual alleged to have uh, no, poured I mean, money I, the, into the, the UN. What do you the, think of it? The justice system in this country is uh, going its uh, course, and it, there's, there's nothing for me to comment on. Okay, and what I, I guess I wanted to ask you about a particular event, and you'll see it's, it's, it, it, it was sponsored by the Global Sustainability Foundation, which is one of the two named to be looked at by OIOS. But my question was, it took place very, you know, relatively recently, June 30th in the UN lobby. Uh, the Secretary General was there. Mr. Sam Kutessa was there. Sherry Yan, also charged, was there. And I wanted to know, not, I, I assume that the audit will find out how this came about and, and, and what the, what was the Secretary General's understanding in going to that event? But the what the event the was about and what the, the, the Global the Sustainability The Secretary is. General was invited by the President of the General Assembly, mm -hmm. uh, as he's often invited to do, and he accepted the invitation uh, from the President of the General Assembly. Right, and, and, you did, and it's since been said at this ITU event, if I ended up getting the video, Mr. Kutessa traveled to China with GSF mm -hmm. uh, after, you know, between these two events. I guess my question is, can you say, even pending the audit, what steps have been taken for the Secretary General to, when invited to events, to, to take a look at them and, and, and in some way vet them? Well, we, we, obviously, we, we obviously vet uh, events to the best of our ability, but, uh, you know, I think every, if there is, uh, if we vet events to the best of our ability. I don't know what more I can, and just I one can more say on to this. that. Of I, course. I, okay, thanks. The, 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 it turns out that GSF was actually only formed in, I mean, pretty recently, in 2014, and there's video of the founding of the organization in the fourth floor delegates dining room, and the Secretary General's spouse is there, Mr. Nambiar is there, so this seems to be different. This is, a, this is not a Sam Kutessa event to which these people attended, invited. This was the formation of an organization that's now in I, wild I, disrepute, I, I, and I, I wanted to know have, what you say about I that. I don't have all, all the details of the event uh, that you're looking at, and I'm sure the audit will take a look at it. Matthew? Sure, thanks a lot, and, and, and thanks for this. Thank I, you. I, for, I just, as to the day itself, I wanted to know, and maybe, I, maybe it, it kind of flowed over me so quickly, I may have misunderstood it, but Republic of Korea, KBS Symphony, K-pop, I wanted to know, what's the process for choosing who sponsors the day? I mean, did other countries come forward? Was this country solicited? And also, you may have been here when the, in the first part of the briefing. So I want to, I know that you're, rel, you know, rel is still relatively new as, as, as USG DPI, so I ask it in, in that spirit. The same event that took place in, in June, 30th in the, in, the U, in, the, in the GA lobby, sponsored by the Global Sustainability Foundation. What did you understand it to be? And also, like, the South-South Awards that you attended. I guess, what, have there been any changes in how DPI will sort of view such events going forward? And what can you say about those two events, sort of what your understanding of them was when you participated? Thank you, Thank you Matthew. On, on the last question, I think uh, um, the spokesman made clear uh, everything that has to be made clear at this point, so I can only align me myself on what on what he said. And it is true, I participated in the South South um, uh, Awards uh, ceremony, as uh, many uh, other UN officials uh, in our different capacities as UN officials. And I don't think I should be adding more uh, comments uh, to what uh, Stefan uh, so clearly said. Um, on the vetting for uh, who gets the support or who gets the organization of uh, the UN Day concert, usually it's a member state, a government, that does. Macher has uh, more information about it has happened before. In this case, the Korean mission uh, offered the support for organizing it because it, in, uh, it entails uh, financial uh, and logistical and others. And we, uh, at the department, signs a memorandum of understanding with the different uh, parts of the organization. And um, we are very comfortable in working with one member state in this case because it needs uh, a lot of, uh, as you can imagine, uh, effort. And um, it is um, uh, a big undertaking. Just one, just one very quick. Sure. I just, I just didn't, I didn't mean so much vetting of South Korea. I just meant, is it, is it, does a note go out to all member states saying, come forward with your offers of sponsorship, or were they? 
How is it only them that, that, that move forward on this 70th anniversary? Um, my experience since I have been here, it has been that uh, member states are interested in uh, leading events, musical related to moments, and uh, some of them had made proposals to the department and the one that advances because uh, has the process ready uh, and uh, finally takes the decision. Uh, I've already seen two or three um, representatives of countries interested in organizing or considering the organization of uh, this type of events for future occasions. Um, I think that Maher wants to make a comment, additional comment, since he was at the beginning of uh, the uh, talks with the Korean government. Go ahead. So I'm from the, the back of the room. Thanks, Maher. Thank you, Christina. Actually, uh, 2015, the concert originally, uh, when Peter Lansky Tiefenthal was the USG, he had approached the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra, and that was the discussion with the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra, too. So they had said that they would do the concert and subsequent and the Korean broadcasting system expressed interest in the same year so the preference was to whoever asked first subsequently the Vienna Philharmonic uh, announced their regret that they couldn't come forward because the times didn't work for them so the second bidder was the KBS and therefore they are the ones going it uh, do. so far for 2016 we have no official country or uh, side, so we are waiting. Any, whoever comes first gets, gets it. Okay, great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.